All right, hello. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the AJ Airdrop. Small kites were in place. Charles is going on here. Took down a bit. And then. Things up, actually. Hopefully you guys can see me better now. So today, Cutsboro Base, a charter company, operating one singular beach, King Air 200, <coughs> for the Cutsboro Council. The, so we've got a charter job currently down to Lin with Joint Air Force Base or JAFB. We just got in from a delivery flight from. I will reveal the location of the aircraft factory momentarily. After I just make a quick check, where's that? Oh, Beechcroft Baron. So we've just arrived in from the Fiskar uh, Airport. This is a used King Air 200, and let's get us started. So the passengers are all on board. Unfortunately, we had to move around a bit prior to the arrival, because unfortunately, <laughs> let's get the passengers on then fuel, because of because the Kitesboro ramp was hugely busy at about 3 p.m. We arrived in at 3 p.m. Passengers were loaded at at 10 2. Fuel was fully on board at fuel was on fully on board five minutes later. We were just towed over to a fuel tank just to top off the tank. Now we are headed off. Let's get our lights on. I don't appear to see anything. There's an aircraft on finals, but they we should be able to get well clear. And there has been a lag spike. We're going to head out here to just slow down a bit. So we're transporting a few people to Kitesboro, not to Kitesboro, we're at Kitesboro. Transporting a few people to the location of Linwood Joint Air Force Base. It appears we've got an easy jet over there in the terminal. Now, gonna be taxiing out to the runway here. The aircraft is on final. There appears to have just been a Qantas A330-200 spawn in, and that is a 747 landing, Qatar 747-8F. 
Please move out of the way, Quantum Savory. Right, it's a stupid quantum safety 30. Cut us off there. Back on the roll, but extended delay. I'm going to pull out onto the runway here and take off. Because there's no ATC. Quantus can wait. Because he just cut us off. We're going to have to wait for this annoying little corner. Yeah, well that's triggering. Hurry up, Quantas. There he goes. And then we're just going to pull out here into the runway. <coughs> then... We're all set for takeoff. Then... Boom. Toga. Try and get back on the centre of the runway here. Right, and then let's turn out. for roughly 11,000 feet. <sighs> it's 
centre back onto myself there. CRJ700 just rotated by the looks of it. What the hell is going on down there? Oh, and some blew up. And someone crashed. I think we've leveled off at about 8,000 here. Ish. We'll aim for just under 8,000. In the one big Linwood. Now, just while we're on the way down here, take a minute of clicking. 15 slash 33. So we'll just get some confirmation from the 747, which is now above me actually. We'll start our descent. For a the 747 passed over us. I think the 747. Oh, 747 just gone over us. So the 747 has passed. We're going to begin slowing down for the runway. Turn and align the ILS for when we when we three three we'll align the ILS. So we're not far off the
you configured ILS. I'm gonna level out a bit actually. Just so I'm slightly off the ILS. a lot. Right. Take two of that. So, after the glide slope by 0.23, I'm coming in too slow as well. I think we're off the ILS actually, I think we've got ILS for the wrong one. Yeah, we got the wrong runway ILS. I set up the ILS for... I just set up the ILS for 3 3. No. Runway 1 5. Because we're off the ILS here, which essentially means that appears more like it here, but we are 1.3 off the glide slope. We're just going to descend out slowly, keeping the landing speed, trying to keep the land speed low. Should probably be going around here, but no patience to go around. So, in theory, sh we should land roughly on the centre line. We're still about 0 0.32 units off. Now we're drifting above the glide path. This is not good already. <laughs> Horrendous approach. And then we'll just have to... Still off the glide as well. And then... We're just going to hit the brakes, not use the reversers. Because they're not going to be needed here. This is Linwood. And then we'll make our way over to the... We're going to stay at the overnight ramp. So I'm just going to deselect the runway and the ILS. So that will come off our radar. And then we'll proceed in the terminal. And 
then it'll be, well, evening over for us. Then tomorrow we'll probably see another video. So we'll just get off onto the taxiway here. Because Linwood Airport is, well, dead quiet. I think that is a 7.57 coming out. I think that's 7.57, 200, yeah, 200, 7.57, 7.57, And then... Get into the overnight ramp and park up for the night. Well, for the day. And then the next morning in real life time, we'll be heading out. It's in real life for me, FYI. So we're actually at, there goes the 7.57, right so this is where we'll probably have when we get some of the larger aircraft, this is where they'll be coming from because we'll be buying them brand new and not used. But I was thinking of buying, I will probably make a separate video on this. But I was thinking of buying a used Pil Pilatus PC-12 that's on sale at a small airfield. But I was thinking of probably going to an auction and buying a few aircraft. So we're currently sitting on about two and a half thousand um in airline funding at the uh, with airline funds from the when you start going out I think that's the 757 oh that's uh 747 it's just come in so we'll go sit plop up park our plane up here on the next one along because we've actually got GPU That's our payment there. It's the payment to the government mostly. Most of that will be paid off in taxes, so leaves us with about two and a half thousand in the airline funding for passenger fares um, and other things. Because it's a small charter airline, it's a low cost charter company. There are certain weights and other things that need to be done, which incurs fees and other things. We'll park the aircraft up here, and then we'll get ready. So been a bit of a long first episode, longer than I was expecting, especially for a quick transport, about eight passengers who were coming on who were coming on holiday as essentially a business trip to Linwood. And then there'll probably be a drive out of Linwood to somewhere else that's so not quite Spro in the next episode that I release. So I hope you guys did enjoy this because, of course, new airline. I will probably, in the next episode, I will try and find some pictures of the current King Air that we're using when it was first bought. Well, before we bought it. Try and find some old pictures of it that 
appear to be lying around in the cockpit somewhere. Or probably in the headquarters, actually. But yeah. Next time... We'll probably see some things like... More aircraft. Well, I say more aircraft. I'm going to go to an auction at Linwood while I'm here and the Lin probably contact the bank to get a bit of a loan to buy a few new aircraft to get the job done and to hire some employees maybe I've got my eyes if I can get some employees and new aircraft I've got my eyes on the used Pilatus PC-12, but there's another one on sale here, and there's a pair of King Airs as well. I would like to buy, preferably both those King Airs and the PC and the PC-12 here, maybe a Beechcraft Baron, and then some workers. So. If we look at our load sheets here, so the load sheets and that will all say like there's been we're about four thousand pounds, which yeah is roughly a useful weight here, and then other calculations and that. So yeah, so we transported roughly 10 passengers, we have a 13 passenger, passenger capacity here, and we're only about £4,000 in main load in the cabin here. They're all sat in the back with four thousand pounds plus an extra two thousand pounds of no, not two thousand pounds of fuel. I will have to do some quick googling. So, yeah, it's probably about 4,000, an extra few thousand pounds in fuel or something like that, which we burnt most of it off in takeoff there in the cruise phase, about 7,000 feet-ish, about 8,000 8, feet. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, when I get access to the community tab, I'll probably upload updating regards to this series because this won't be a thing that occurs all of the time and we've got other things as well probably will be a fairly regular series given the lack of uploads at the minute 
and you need to compensate for that. Because my most recent aeronautical upload was 13 days ago, no, two months ago. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you all later. And goodbye.